It's not going to stand out on a lot of people's radar, but Zoom, this was the first close today on Zoom uh, above the 50-day moving average. This is literally the first close. If you look at this whole formation here. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. A really good day. I think that's the best way of saying it. Um, beta hasn't been, you know, beta hasn't been great for three months. Um, today, you know, when they finally wake up and when they do, it really is magical. Um, and the most ironic part, 48 hours ago, and this is, again, if, if you're watching this broadcast for the first time, um, I, I, I trade ranges. It doesn't make a difference to me uh, which side the ranges are uh, confirmed to the downside, to the upside. doesn't make a difference. Um, you know, I love Tesla. I love Tesla as a company. I love Tesla as a brand. But for me, the downside, the upside makes no difference. It's all where the value was. And if you go just go back 48 hours ago, uh, Tesla was the first close literally below this rising uh, this whole rising support that it didn't see uh, this type of price action closing below uh, demand since all the way back to September. So ironically, yesterday, I was waiting for uh, the 780 confirmation that never came. And, and the moral of that story was, like we talked about in last night's video, you know, don't anticipate, right? Uh, don't anticipate, don't forecast, just wait for the, wait for the channel to set up. And, and when it does, uh, usually good things happen. And ironically, yesterday's video, we talked about how out of nowhere, 24 hours later, Tesla looked really, really good. And we were watching uh, these ranges in a second. Uh, and we'll talk about it. We'll talk about the individual pivots in a second. Uh, big story tonight. Uh, Jeff Bezos is stepping down as CEO as of Amazon. Obviously, he will still be on a day-to-day, -day, you know, in the know of the company. And Amazon had a really good quarter. The initial response from Bezos stepping down was the sell. And then they just basically turned around and said, oh, wait a minute, it's still Amazon. He's still going to be there on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, everything's all good in the world. And the stock is up about 40 bucks, uh, you know, 40 bucks uh, after hours, which is fine. I, I think there's a lot more value to the stock tomorrow, especially if it could open, establish an opening range hold the trend and maybe start, you know, really appreciating above today's levels, which will be uh, very, very important. Same thing with Google. Okay. Google had an excellent quarter. Uh, stock is, you know, up $178 on the day. I, I think it's fantastic. It's, it's pulling up uh, the beta sector, there was a lot of value in beta today. Uh, going into tomorrow, you're seeing a lot more value uh, in the names. You have Tesla a day away uh, from maybe testing the 900 level all-time highs. So things are really, really good technically. And that's kind of where we want to attack every single trading day. Um, you know, people were talking about today and say, Dan, can you comment on GameStop? I mean, what, what are we, what are we commenting on? There's nothing left to comment. Okay. If, if you've been trading for less than, you know, if you've been trading for more than 15 minutes, you knew what was going to happen. If you watched this video for the last, you know, two weeks, I you know, kept that saying, just take your money, take your money. You, again, you have the right to buy any stock. I think we all agree uh, we're all on the same side that what the brokers did were, was was wrong it was it was it was horrific it was it was sad the manipulation and the corruption but at the same time we kept on saying over and over again look you have the right to buy amc at at five at four right at six what the hell are you doing with the stock at 20 right you have the right to buy uh you know gme a you know, gamestop you know off this breakout here 36 40 i mean what are you doing at 450 and and again it, it became it wasn't amc and gme right it was more it's us versus them and we kept on reiterating that point over and over again it's it sounds great the whole let's hold hands and everything in between, but you're, you're shooting yourself in the foot in the process. And unfortunately, and you can see this over and over again, big bank always beats little bank. And, that, and unfortunately, that's the reality. So there is no lesson here, okay? Uh, you know, when this happened to us during the dot-com bubble, nobody told us, nobody warned this was gonna happen. Anybody who's been, you know, who's been trading for, for you know, 15, 20, 25 years, 
it was just a matter of time. And unfortunately, when the banks uh, really seized control and the brokers really curbed everybody's ability to kind of free trade at, at will, you know, the plug got pulled and you saw the ramifications. So again, was there any lesson learned? What lesson can you possibly learn? History repeated itself. Uh, if you got greedy and you held the line or whatever the hell the social media, you know, uh, quote of the day is, but at the end of the day, um, it's the end of the day. And that's unfortunately the events, but that's exactly happened. Um, kind of moving on. I, again, I don't want to talk about this crap anymore. For, for what? For what reason? It's, it's counterproductive. Nobody's in this thing. Nobody's even looking at this thing. Um, there's so much good value in the market. When you, when you look at where, where we are right now, um, you had some really good things that happened today, technically. Uh, Tesla got above this range, reclaimed the five, reclaimed the 10 day moving average. And the only reason why it stopped today is it hit the linear regression. This linear regression gets reclaimed tomorrow. You started seeing today um, 875 weeklies, 900 weeklies, 915 weeklies. So if Tesla can reclaim uh, this area tomorrow, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go higher. Look at NVIDIA, right? NVIDIA, we talked about NVIDIA last night also. NVIDIA, again, got above this three-day range, the same thing as Tesla. We saw 600s for next week, uh, maybe covering some earnings. But look how much room in NVIDIA now it has. And again, I know I understand it's called NVIDIA or NVIDIA, but I call it NVIDIA, right? NVIDIA. I'm dyslexic, remember. So look how much room you have. You have a lot of value there as well. Intel, we talked about this last night as well. You know, got above this three-day range. Really good value. What I'm really kind of looking for, look, look at ZM, right? It's not going to stand out on a lot of people's radar, but Zoom, this was the first close today on Zoom uh, above the 50-day moving average. This is literally the first close. If you look at this whole formation here, as much as it ran to the 50-day uh, moving average on January the 15th, it got rejected. It got rejected here. So this was literally the first close above the 50-day moving average in this whole formation since the stock kind of topped out uh, all the way in November the 30th. So if this is, if NVIDIA, excuse me, if Zoom can start building uh, and start reclaiming this whole channel here, look how much room you have. And it, it, there is some time uh, before earnings. So maybe there isn't starting, you're getting some good volume coming into the name. Maybe you could start stretching. So that looks great as well. So there's a lot of value, guys. And, and the, the common theme over and over again, every single day, it's not about the sexy stock. Forget about the GMEs and the AMCs and Wall Street bets and Wall Street pets and all this diamonds and just, it's nonsense. It's nonsense. Again, it's 14 year olds telling 13 year olds how to, how to plan for the next trading day. Again, I asked my, my, my son, Hey Nate, any, any TikTok videos today on AMC? He said, no, why? I go, no, just asking. So look guys, if you, if you want to do this for a living, eliminate this nonsense, just eliminate the stuff. By the time retail is talking about it, by the time you know, they're making TikTok videos and God knows whatever the case, it's over, right? The, the, the game is done. And unfortunately, action like this, the last time we saw it was 2000, you know, in 2000, during the dot com ever, we're in 2021. In my calculations, if you hold the line, right? Whatever they were saying on, on social media, if you hold the line, you might finally get an uptick around 2041. Best declination. So, you know, good value today. There's a lot of good value for tomorrow. The CCIV, just an absolute beast, crazy rock star. Uh, we saw short term 40 expiration uh, in the name VXRT. Another name is going out of its mind. Now, nobody's going to start comparing to these things to the GameStops or the world or the AMCs, but there is a lot of similarities. Um, you're, you're getting early shorts. You're getting dips into rising 60-minute support. And once they start trapping into rising 60-minute support, there comes the short squeeze again. Again, I have to check with the, with the short, um, and I, I don't think it's a lot, but I have to check what's going on with the short interest in VXRT and a stock like CCIV. I don't think it's going to be a lot yet just because there's such new uh, trading vehicles. But the moral of the story is there's value in the dips into rising 60-minute support. And until it stops working, Rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. So uh, let's talk about some of the pivots. Very, very uh, aggressive session. This was definitely the trade of the day. Um, just an absolute monster of a trade. But let's talk, let's talk about NVIDIA first. 
Uh, if it opens below 534, it needs to build. That was the previous range. Uh, if it opens up above, then it needs to confirm the 538 highs. Macro move to 556. Close at the high of the day. Um, you know, nice move. Close at roughly around the uh, 843 level. I still think this thing goes higher if it starts confirming uh, today's ranges. Uh, Tesla, definitely the trade of the day. This is by far my trade of the day. 850 needs to build. Here was Tesla. It felt so good, man. It's like, it's like you know, like when, when, when um, you know, you have a, a really favorite pair of like slippers or pair of socks and you put them on that that's what it felt like trading tesla today it was just so good uh so it broke this whole 850 level stopped right in the channel here in the 880 area looks great if it could just reclaim today's channel uh this thing probably sees 900 very very soon uh crowd nice nice little move on crowd i still like crowd into tomorrow 220 needs to build here was crowd i still like it for tomorrow i think it goes higher uh traded to the 222 level looks higher to me uh as well uh, Square had a really big move, uh, 226 rejected twice on the daily, uh, needs to build, here was Square, right? So here is the chart on, on Square, you see this whole channel here guys, right? 226 was the high here, 226 the high here, once it took out 226, uh, you know, big move, right, to the 230, uh, it still looks higher, it's consolidating, this is the highest close in this whole formation, uh, it definitely looks higher as well, as, lo as long as the market stays up. Uh, CRM, really big move. 231 needs to build. We saw 242.50 calls uh, coming in. So here was CRM. Took out this whole 231 area. Uh, traded to 236. Looks like it has initial move to 239. Again, 242.50 near term. Uh, call buyers came in. CLDR, very aggressive move. You had 17. 1750 near term uh, call buyers came in. They came for the 20s today. They came for the 2250s today. Uh, 1650 needs to build on CLDR, right? Traded up to all the way up to 1750. I still like it. I just think it needs a couple of days to kind of digest. So that looks good as well. Uh, JMIA, not a big move at all. Uh, 66 needs to build. Not a big move at all. Traded to 66, like, you know, traded 67 and a half and then really crap the bed on that one. Not everyone is going to work perfectly, but again, it is what it is. EXPC, um, I still like it. It, it. it didn't close over 16, which I didn't really uh, like, but again, it is what it is. Again, not everything could be a rock star. Uh, huge move there. Uh, 390, this is, the, it, 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 this is a perfect, it didn't do anything today. It only ran like three, four points, but any close over 390 is bullish, and that's exactly what it needed to do. It's exactly what it did. So now we're looking for macro ranges uh, higher on ZM. Uh, Tesla, I was joking around, obviously, just put it at 900, start from there. Here comes the call buying, uh, CRM, and that is about it. So moral of the story, here's just a couple of, uh, uh, here's a couple of just after hours play. We're still watching, I'm still watching this BTWN if it could start building over 17. Uh, we caught this 820 uh, SLS, just traded nearly to $10 after the close, it was pretty good as well. So look, there's a lot of value tomorrow. Folks, I, I, I can't stress this enough. If, if you want to do this professionally, you, you, you have to really eliminate all the nonsense. The nonsense, the crap, the, you know, this one's going higher, that one's going higher. Trust technical analysis. It's your only lifeline. It, it's the most purest organic form in this crazy, corrupt, septic tank of Wall Street. And the moral of the story is once you get comfortable with technical analysis, and believe in the theory that stocks trade organically, buyers clean up sellers, sellers clean up buyers, usually good things are going to happen. Guys, have a great night. God bless, and I'll see you all tomorrow.